Understanding, be cautious. A guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore a very common English phrase, be cautious. This phrase is widely used in everyday conversation, and understanding its nuances can greatly enhance your English communication skills. So, let's dive in and unpack the meaning and usage of be cautious. Be cautious is a phrase that advises someone to be careful or to give attention to potential risks or dangers. It's similar to saying, be careful, or watch out. This phrase is often used in situations where there is a possibility of harm or error, and the speaker wants to warn someone to avoid it. Everyday conversations. In everyday conversations, be cautious is used in a variety of contexts. For example, physical safety, be cautious when you cross the street. Decision making, be cautious before investing your money in this project. In professional settings, in professional environments, this phrase takes on a more formal tone. Giving advice, we should be cautious about changing our marketing strategy without sufficient data. Project planning, be cautious when setting deadlines, we need realistic timelines. There are several phrases that convey a similar meaning. Proceed with caution. This is often used to advise a careful approach in a particular situation. Tread carefully. This implies being careful about one's actions or words, especially in sensitive situations. Exercise caution. This is a more formal way of advising someone to be careful. It's important to understand the context in which be cautious should be used. Avoid using it in situations where immediate or urgent action is required. In such cases, phrases like act now or hurry are more appropriate. We hope this video helps you understand and use the phrase be cautious more effectively in your daily English communication. Remember, being cautious means being aware of potential risks and acting in a way to avoid harm or mistakes. Keep practicing, and don't forget to be cautious with your new English skills. See you in the next video.